All righty. Welcome everyone to the Qubit community. It is the 28th of June, 2023. Um, for those of us, those of you who are just joining, um, if you could please write down your name and the attendees, I will try and find my chat. Here it is. So I can post the meeting minutes there, just in case you don't have the link. Um, how's my audio, by the way? Because I think the microphone on these headphones is kind of not great. Sounds good. Right. Right. Sounds awesome. good. Man. That's good. Ah, better than I hoped for. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, do we have anyone um, on this meeting who is new or has been to this meeting before and you know hasn't really introduced themselves and would like to this week? Um, now's the time. You can just say a couple of words about yourself. I'll take that silence as a definitive no. All right, we're going to check in on the schedule. And the big news is <clears throat> that next week we've got our version one G8. Um, and we have a note on that in the agenda. So I'll go back to that because um, I'll just jump ahead. Uh, yeah, there is a suggestion. It currently is scheduled to go out on the 4th of July. Uh, there's a suggestion from Fabian that maybe we should push that out for two days to accommodate um, those in the US affected by that holiday, which is likely going to be a four day weekend for many people and create a little bit of distance and uh, breathing room. Uh, both for the people who are working on the release and for the people that might be consuming it in our music community. Um, I don't know if anyone has any thoughts on that they'd like to share, um, just in case. All right. Uh, well, yeah, so we next week, <laughs> we fully expect the version one release to go out. Um, if it's not the 6th of July, it'll be the 4th of July. Yeah. Larry, did you want to say something? No, sorry. It unmuted itself. Okay, cool. Um, the other thing I have here is that I noticed that we've, we hit our 10,000th PR in Qubit Qubit. Um, so the, I like a good milestone as much as the next person. So congratulations, everyone. Um, I think that's a, it's a lot of zeros, basically. Um, there's nothing on the open floor. So um, we're going to hit the pull requests, the mailing list review, and the bug scrub. If anyone thinks of anything that they would like to add, talk about, or ask, um, by all means, add it into the agenda and open floor, and we'll return to them before we finish the meeting. Without any further ado, uh, pull requests. Uh, so from M. Henrix, uh, is Michael on the line today? He does not appear to be. Okay. Um, I think this is in relation to a bug, and it might even be on our issues that we'll come to later. Um, no one's assigned for it. Uh, this is... Ah, yes, I think I saw this on Slack. Uh, when RunStrategy is manual, there's an issue with the VM snapshot. Um, I think when we talked about this, this fell into storage. Is there anyone who is familiar with this uh, context that might be able to take on a review of this PR for Michael? Fair enough. Uh, well, we'll move on. Hello. Hello. I just noticed that Zoom with a browser window that's being shared and has like dark mode on, it feels like a cave in here. 
but that's just my take. <laughs> I I mean, I kind of like the cave vibe, dark and cool, especially as we head into summer. Um, Plus one on that. <laughs> uh, is that... Fabian, is that also you piping up um, because you'd like to review that previous PR that Michael Hendricks did put up? I think it's great to see that PR, but I think that's oh, this uh, one. all I can share, yes. Fair enough. Um, I actually don't tell totally sure what this falls onto, but it seems like I would say it's a SIG compute um, PR here. Is there anyone from that group that might be able to give this a bit of a review? I'd rather wait for people to look at it. Uh, Fabian, I don't know if you joined while we were talking about it, um, but there was the mention of the, um, the two data uh, push on the version one release. Is there anything you wanted to say particularly about that? But yeah, I, I would love to get that PR merged. It should be simple to be reviewed. I think the scope is clear. And the main reasoning is, I mean, it, it's V1 of Qbert, and I just want to give the right folks right, who might be located in in, uh, in a country that's affected by, you know, July the 4th, to give them a day to recover and to give them another day to prepare any material that, you know, could be accompanying this release, including, by the way, the CNCF, right, which might want to push out a blog post as well. But also including like vendors like like Reddit. I think we're looking at some stuff. And uh, just say a moment. And um, yeah, so that that's the reasoning. So it's more like an organization thing. I don't want to miss that opportunity. It would be sad if we publish Qbert v1, nobody is there to listen and nobody is there to speak about it, right? So that's the main reason. It's marketing more or less. If if somebody objects, then please speak up now. Otherwise, I would call it a consensus that we can merge it. Nobody objects. No objection, but an affirmative. Evidently, I was muted this time when I didn't mean to be. <laughs> Thanks for speaking up, Larry. And good to meet you. Fair enough, we have one eye and no objections. And on that previous PR, thank you, Joao, for um, CCing, and I presume taking responsibility for that. In which case, Fabian, I can, um, I can write the affirmative on that, um, that two data line. That's yeah, sure. Way. Yeah, sure no worries, and uh, sorry for being late, but uh, thanks for catching up on that PR. Thanks. All righty. Uh, it's another storage one. Has anyone from the storage team joined late? It does not look like it. Um, uh, yeah, I'm here. Oh, he is here. Uh, we called out your... Um, VM snapshot PR earlier, uh, but no one was willing to take it on. Um, I know you're not willing to take it on, but just to let you know, um, we might need to find another review for that. And while I have you here, um, yep. is this something you could also uh, take a look at, Michael? Thank you. Is that a question? Was it a question? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the question was, are you able to look at uh, this PR? Only enable, expand, disks enabled on PVC volumes. Lucky Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Did you want me to CC you onto it? Yes, please. Awesome, thank you. 
Oops. All right. Uh, the value of the review, um, there was one thing kind of jumping around a bit today um, that Javier, I think, had put out. It's about an RBAC simplifier tool. Um, I just thought I would highlight this. Um, it's got a little script there that kind of just, I think, simplifies the return for that in case that interests people. The other things that I've listed here are all kind of like more um, community process uh, discussion points that I think are, are worth getting some additional eyes on. Uh, this first one is uh, about a network binding plugin. Uh, I think we've we've raised this in a previous community meeting, um, but I thought you know, I guess we've got eyes here. Anyone in who has a particular interest in the networking seek. Um, will probably be interested in having a look through the document that Ed has shared in there. Other two is, I think this is Lee. Yeah, Lee, yeah, I'll it has put forward some um, uh, thoughts on improving the design proposal process. Um, and that this impacts everyone, um, uh, both currently in the community and in the future. Um, and so it would be good to get some additional eyes and thoughts on that if you have them. Um, obviously, you have eyes, but the thoughts um, are up to you. And the third one was, I think, Ed again. Yeah. Asking about the deprecation policy. Now, I, I thought we had a, a deprecation policy PR that Itamar had raised. Is Itamar on the line? Doesn't look like it. And this one is going um, the other way around, I think. Oh, okay. It's like uh, the application policy is hard to have if you don't have a feature and a lifecycle entrance. So like, like Kubernetes, they have uh, policies what uh, that say that a feature starts with alpha, then goes to beta, then goes to GA. And each and each step you can deprecate, remove, you can change the API or you can't. And what does it mean? It's step, this kind of stuff. Ah, oh, cool. So about having a very specific policy when we introduce a feature about following that those stages. Yeah, it's yeah, but it's more of I was trying to check if it uh, discussion about it existed because. I have a feeling that without it, it's, I guess it's impossible to remove any uh, features or remove all things or in general, or we can, or it's even pro problematic to fix things that we found uh, in, that are not good enough. Sounds fair. Um, yeah, so it'd be good to see some discussion about that. Um, and here it is. And if anyone has any thoughts, um, please, by all means, just uh, jump in and share them. Maybe we can just hash some of that stuff out now rather than take it to the mailing list. If not, we'll move on to our bug scrub. Jump into this. So is this something that's going to be specific to NVIDIA or is this a more generic thing that happened of using a NVIDIA GPU? And is anyone on the line 
well versed in uh, this kind of usage. Um, it's better to ta tag either Olay or Ryan on this. Yeah, we'll see. Number two. This person is after, um, I think, a persistent MAC address after VM reboot. Um, this strikes me as a networking issue. Is there anyone from the networking team? Um, and would help this person because they call out one two five one, which was. Closed. You can send it to me if you. Okay, I will look at it next. Unless someone already yes. asked. Thank you, Ed. And last but not least. Michael's already jumped out of it. Wonderful. I'll leave it there. Excellent. All righty. Nothing has been added to our agenda or our open floor. Um, in which case, uh, we're only 20 minutes into the hour. Does anyone want to uh, raise anything or add any thoughts onto any of the mailing list um, discussions that have been uh, brought up and looked at both today and in the past? Or have anything else that you'd like to raise during this meeting or questions you'd like to ask? Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I missed the sh uh, new guy shout out uh, in the start. So I'm Atanas and uh, I'm part of SUSE. So uh, what we're looking to do is actually contribute Helm chart to the upstream project. And uh, I'm uh, currently working on the proposal for that. So hopefully by the end of the day or tomorrow, I'll be submitting it in the community repo. Wonderful and welcome. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, at, uh, we're at DevCon, was it a week and a half ago? And yeah, a number of people um, came by asking about Helm Chart specifically for Qbert. So it's very timely um, as far as my limited experience is concerned. So thank you for that. Yep, hopefully we can make it. Anyone else? Uh, <laughs> I have complete confidence in you. Uh, does anyone else have anything they'd like to add, ask, or raise while we're all together? That sounds like a resounding no. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, to everyone working on getting the V1 release out next week, um, Godspeed and good luck. And we'll see you all next week uh, in July. Thank you very much. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.